Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video here today and another episode of my Moto GP20 career mode. Today we are here for the Japanese Grand Prix at Mategi, the fourth from last race of the season. If you guys missed the last episode at Buriram for the Thailand GP, then go check it out guys. It will be linked in the top right hand corner of your screen to go see what happened there before we jump into this one. And uh, yeah, we're going to jump into things here this weekend as of course we do have a championship fight on our hands and mixing it with the man on the right there, Mark Marquez. So let's jump into it and let's see what the situation is going into this race so as you can see on screen the next race is the japanese grand prix for mategi not one of my favorite tracks but we'll hopefully be okay around there we do have an upgrade on the way but it's not going to arrive in time for the electronics so um it looks like there won't be any more upgrades this season for the bike in terms of the standings that you can see right now uh dovi still has a chance it's pretty interesting actually because Vinales, Crutchlow and Dovi all need to outscore me here today and they all need to get within the 75 point window if they want to have a chance at the championship. Really though, realistically, it's going to be me versus Marquez and the gap is 15 points with four races to go. So it's all to play for and it's going to be very, very tasty. So let's get the weekend on the way here at Japan and let's see how we get on. The next few races are also going to be very, very important. But for now, let's jump into this one and let's see what our pace is like around here. Okay, so here we are then for qualifying, and unfortunately, we are going to have to go through Q1. I thought I had the pace. I was P4 in practice, and the mark was working pretty well, but it seems like we are going to have to go through the first part of qualifying. I feel confident, though. I think I can do it, so hopefully we can, fingers crossed, deliver a lap good enough to get us into the second part of qualifying. So let's jump into it, and let's see how we get on here at Mategi. Drum mid just getting in our way a little bit there. As we end the lap, the first one. Pretty good lap actually for me. It felt pretty good up to the line. And it's a 46 0. Not bad for an opener. Let's see if we can get to the 45s. We need to get into the 45s to have a chance of going through, I think. Ooh, a little bit of a mistake there. Just dipped the wheel in the gravel, which is not going to help. Not the best final corner, but we'll make it work. Let's see what this lap is across the line. Final sector. Oh, we improve marginally, but it's still in the 46s. I can't seem to get a 45 around it. Oh, the way, sector three and four were great. We actually found about two tenths in sector three. So the optimal is kind of floating around a 45.7. It's just a matter of hooking it up. But let's get back to the pits and let's see how the session progresses. Right, I'll give myself enough time for two time the laps. Let's see what we can do as we've now been pushed down the order a little bit. Sick. Fantastic. <laughs> oh my. Oh man. Whew. Whoa. Just clipped the grass there on the exit. That could have been a big high side, big crash there. But so far we're still hanging on. It's not the best lap. Quite scruffy compared to the two we just did before in the previous one. And there we go. Great. Oh man. We were doing so well and now this is going to start to happen now because I'm annoyed because of the game crash. Oh, we're running this a bit hot. We just about hang on to the bike, but we've run it a bit wide there. And that invalidates our lap. Great. Really struggling now. I've lost all my momentum due to that game crash. I was doing quite well before. Very consistent. Multiple riders are crashing though. Like, it just doesn't stop. The riders keep just going down, down, down all the time. So close to tucking the front there and going down, but we've held on to the bike. This is nowhere near my best lap. I've lost my pace now. I've lost like a half a second. Not sure why, but we've got one more lap left in the tank. 
I'm just going to get it all slowed down for this corner if I can, which we do this time. Let's not invalidate it. Let's try and get a lap on the board, shall we? Easy does it through there. Now flip-flop, change direction through the chicane. Oh my god. Terrible, absolutely terrible. That's going to hurt our next lap as well. We go P2, three times quicker than Zarko, but for some reason it's not updated properly. Zarko is clearly not quickest. Oh my god. Right, here we go. One more attempt. I'm fueled for one lap, so let's see what we can do. All or nothing on this one. We're P4. We need to get a top two. And I've messed it up straight away. Too much front brake. Oh, what a horrible lap so far. I'm just pissed off now. I'm driving in anger. I've lost all my groove. All the issues. I'm going to need a miracle now to pull this one back. Oh, no. Oh, my God. I'm done. What a disaster. What a disaster session. Absolutely horrific. I hate when these things happen. Well, there we go. There's a lot. Espargo goes through 46.000 and Mir 46.068. What's annoying about this whole thing is that the lap times I set in the previous session were both good enough to go through. But in this one, I just couldn't get a lap together. Um, yeah, just not happy with it. Either way, that is it for qualifying. We're now moving to the race. Right, we're now in a bit of trouble here. Mark Marquez starts from first place, so he's going to be prime to pick up a race win potentially here today and we've got to try and stop him or at least you know damage limitations to the best of our ability there is Dovi in second place I'm hoping that he can help us out here today um, either way for us personally we are going to start the race on the soft compound tires I think on the front and medium on the rear there is Paul Espargaro on the KTM but uh, yeah it's going to be a tricky one really so we'll try our best first and foremost though soft tire we're going to go soft front rear I am tempted to go soft rear and try again and take a risk but I'm going to go medium. I think we'll be okay on that one. I think we'll have good pace. Fuel-wise, I'm going to run 1.5 extra. I want to be able to run quite a bit of mix too. But other than that, let's just jump into this and let's right the wrongs. And, um, you know, hopefully we can do a good job. You know, I want to try and improve in this race. So, uh, yeah, let's do this. Right then, here we go. The lights are on at Mategi. Lights out and away we go for the Japanese Grand Prix. Quite a bit of a wheelie there in first gear into the first corner. We're going to try and get down to the apex if we can. Bit of contact there with, I believe that's Alex Rins as uh, Joan Mir goes back down the inside on the other Suzuki. But it's a good start from us up into the top 10. We blast past both of the Suzukis there on the straight as we now go into turn number three. Contact with Mir there. He went down the inside. I had to straighten up the bike. Good reaction there. Still contact, but we straightened up quite nicely. Jack Miller in front on the Ducati Pramac. Let's see if we can try and Look for a move on him, on the brakes, not trying to go quite late here. Middle on the inside, there's contact again. Marquez still leads. Let's see if we can get past Jack Miller here. Let's make our way into this far section. Accidentally up to fifth gear there, didn't mean that, but uh, we're going to try and look for a move on the Aussie. So far, Miller taking a defensive line as Mobadelli has a look on the inside. We'll fend that off for now. Let's see if we can try and get past a few of these guys. We're up to ninth. I feel like I've already got good pace so we can... Make some good progress this race. Making sure we clip the apex there to avoid riders going on the inside. Right, let's pick up the pace. We've dropped off from middle a bit. Into the hairpin for the first time. Tricky corner this one, but we'll get it beautifully slowed down this time. No issues there, unlike in qualifying. Right, gap behind. Someone's crashed. This is Spargro, a teammate. I say teammate, but you know, for the factory, that's what I'm referring to. We're quite good on the brakes into here, actually. Quite surprised. I have always struggled through there on previous MotoGP games. But here we go then. The action begins. Let's see if we can get amongst them. Quite good on the brakes into turn one. Through the front of the corner. Good change of direction there. Good little switch. Power down. Getting the toe. Can we get the double overtake here? That would be fantastic if we could. Yes, we do. On the brakes. Can we slow it down though? Mir on the inside. I have to wait and be patient. Miller trying to come back at us as well. Down the inside of Joan Mir into turn three. It's a late one. We're still there. A little bit of contact. A little bit of argy bargy, but it is what it is. Got to get the elbows out sometimes. But we do make the move. And we're now up to P7. And that is what I'm talking about right there. 
Let's try and get onto the back of both of these M1s and uh, make the move on these guys. Vinales and Rossi here battling quite heavily for P5 as we close up on these boys. Quite quickly, Quattarado in front of them. So three Yamahas up next for us to overtake. Marquez 46.7, good pace from him as we set 47.5. But of course, we was battling on that lap, whereas Marquez is out and clean now. I think we can match that pace. Just got to try and get past the traffic and get the clean air. But let's see if we can get past. We know the M1s are not fast on the straight, so we'll have a chance of getting by it. I'm liking this. I'm feeling quick. Very quick. Right, here we go then, boys. It's game time. Let's see if we can look for another taking spot on Valentino Rossi, first of all. Through there, just feathering the throttle. Down the inside. It's a late one. We do stand Rossi up a little bit there, but we've absolutely sent it. P6 now. Maverick Vinales is up next. Oh, and then a bit wide there. Avoid the front brake if we can. Rossi goes back through because of that. We'll get him back on straight on our speed, though. And we blast back past. Into the hairpin. Easy does it into here. Vinales runs in a bit hot. Here we go, boys. Let's get this move done on Vinales. I can feel a podium. I can smell it. Slipstream at the final corner. We're going to blast past on the straight. And there we go. Nice, easy move down the inside of Maverick there. And we're now P5 in the Japanese Grand Prix. Fabio Quattararo up next. The Frenchman on the satellite Yamaha. The front three have really pulled away here. We've got a lot of work to do to close that gap down. But we'll try and do our best. Quattararo, let's see if we can chase him down. We've caught up so much on this lap to Quattararo. And also the front three as well. Marquez leads. Dovi second. Crutchlow P3. We set a new fastest lap. And look at that. running a tenth off that quality lap. A little bit behind to turn one there, but that's okay. But that's what I mean about the pace. I've got a great pace around it. I could actually win this race, to be fair. We've got enough laps to do it. If we can make these moves nice and quickly. We can still win this. Here we go, then. We're behind Fabio. We're going to get a nice exit out of there. I think with the slipstream, we could potentially do this with Palmo 2 as well. Okay, they'll slow down on the brakes. Down the inside we go. There we go. Close the door. If we can, let's keep it flat. Keep the throttle pinned. And we do get past Quattararo up into fourth place. Right, crunch lap next. He's battling Dovi for P2. I see that podium. I want it. What lap is this going to be, though, across the line? Not as fast as last time, but still 46-7. Good pace. Now we've caught up to these guys. I struggled a little bit the last two laps. They've just picked up their pace a little bit. Mine has also dropped a little bit. Tire we're just starting to kick in a little bit on the front and rear, but we're here now. As we go on to lap eight, we're going to have five laps to get past these guys. I think the podium uh, is going to be the objective now. I don't think the race is possible anymore, the race win, that is. I think Marquez just has a little bit too much pace. And I'm not quite getting past these guys as easy as I'd like to. I think we're a bit marginal for fuel as well, so I might have to do some saving. Possibly some power mode zero at points. But we're here now. Let's see if we can find a way past these guys. Here we go. Let's see what kind of exit we get out of here. Crutchlow does have a slipstream from Dovi, which isn't going to help. He's going to give him some pretty good straight on speed. On the brakes, a couple stoppies on the way down, trying to get that front brake activated. Just struggling to kind of see where I'm fast at the minute. Um, there's not much of a clear cut overtaking spot compared to the Yamahas, of course. These guys are not slow on the straight as the Yamahas were, so it's a little bit easier. I think turn one is my best chance, but I need to get a better exit. Uh oh. Oh my god. That was not the one. That was a terrible move. Absolutely terrible. I tried taking my usual aggressive line, but uh, I had to get off the brake the second I saw it was going into Dovi. Otherwise, if I kept the brake pinned, that was going to go down. So I had to kind of release it and hope that we'd brush and uh, not have contact in terms of like going down. And we didn't go down, but. That was my bad. That's not too bad, actually. Pretty good exit. Kept it in power mode one. Having a cheeky look. But no way through yet again. If I can just get the line out the final corner, we'll have a chance. Or if I can get the switch back through here. Having a look. Change of direction. Car back underneath. Get that power down. Onto the pit straight. Drag race with the Ducati down to turn one. We're going to power past 
thanks to Palmo too. See, that's the line I wanted to get last lap. To be fair, I'm still running a bit wide, but we are through. Dovi trying to get back underneath, but we're ahead now. P3. Can we hunt down Crutch Low? Three laps to do it. He's really pulled away since that little mishap last lap from me. Let's see if we can go to the back of him. 4-6-2. New fastest lap. Oh, I've messed that up a little bit. A bit of a stoppy on the curb. I'm trying my hardest to close up, but the front two are really pushing. Their pace is so, so strong. I don't think we're going to be able to catch them. I think it's going to be a P3 for us here today. Uh-oh, fuel 0.01. We're very marginal. I'm going to go power mode zero for a little bit. Probably for the rest of the lap. We might actually choke. Oh my God, we're on zero. We're on zero. We're out of gas. I've got to coast this. I've got to try and coast it. I've got a gap behind. Feather the throttle. Take it easy. Oh no, we're out. We're out of gas. We're done. We're empty. We've conked out. Oh my god. No. No. I thought it was okay. We've run out. Oh my god. Can we roll? Roll, roll, roll. We can still score points if we keep rolling. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh my god, we're never going to get points. We're never going to get points. Come on. Give me a point at least. A point on the line. Oh, we didn't even get a point. We missed out. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Oh, disaster weekend. I think we missed out. I think we got P16. Yes, we did. Oh my. Wow. I thought I was okay. Power mode one. Damn, it really caught me out. I wasn't paying that much attention, but I thought I would have been fine. Oh, I should have just kept it zero on the back straight. Jeez. Wow, that is massive for the championship. Absolutely massive. Marquez takes the lead. It's now a two-horse race. It's me versus Marquez. Crutchlow, Dovi, Vinales all out of the running now officially. So, yeah. Oh man, I don't know what to say about that. This has been a horrible weekend. It's been an absolute disaster in pretty much every aspect. So, uh, yeah. Finally though, team championship. We're now down to fifth as Patronus overtake us. And in terms of the constructors, we're still second. But Ducati only 17 points behind and Yamaha 21 points behind. So, um, yeah, it is what it is. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, then um, I'd appreciate a like. And also subscribe if you are new. We have three more races to go after this. So the championship... We'll go down to the wire, so I do get subscribed for that, guys, and get the notifications turned on to not miss out on any of the final three episodes. Um, also, guys, check out the two videos on your screen if you have missed them. And, uh, guys, that is going to be it from me here today at Japan. I will see you all next time for the next race. But until then, guys, take care, and I'll see you in the next episode very soon, which I believe will be at Phillip Island.